Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to the Heroverse. And guys, I just got done a little bit ago seeing John Wick Chapter 4. Um, so this will be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen John Wick Chapter 4 yet, definitely go see the movie and come back and watch the spoiler review. Guys, definitely I would say this movie is what a lot of is what like a lot of people say this movie i would say is definitely one of the is is one of the best action movies i've seen in a very very long time um the action in this movie is very crazy but i would say the action you know for how much action there is in this movie i would say that they they took a bit like there is definitely consequences in this movie when it comes to all the action that they put in this movie and i would say it's it's a pretty big disappointing consequence in all the cool action that they put in here it kind of like they totally kind of said f it to the other thing um so right off the bat i do want to show off kind of like the exclusive amc popcorn bucket for john wick you know, chapter four um it actually came also with something else that i wasn't expecting they would have but right away here is the bucket um this is the one side of the bucket that says we seek the truth and we endure the consequences i are yeah i think it's yeah consequence I mean, and you see the enjoy, and endure the consequences yeah the consequences um so yeah this is like it right here and i really do this is definitely my favorite part of the bucket that i will be like putting on my display uh it's a really cool picture of john wick it looks like a really cool painting i don't know if you guys can see that like right there i think it looks like a really cool like painting of him um and this is the other side where like i said just says john wick and I think this is a pretty cool bucket. It has like some symbols inside. It looks like some continental symbols and some marker symbols uh, for chapter four. Um, and by the way, this is probably the best part of this kind of AMC collector's piece or collector's bucket. It actually comes with these cool collector collectors like, uh, you know, you know, coins slash markers from John Wick chapter four. I really do like my favorite one is definitely the one that has like keanu reeves his face on it. it has like john wick's like face on it if you guys can see that like right there i'm trying to like get like a good like thing on it like right there yeah like has like right there i think that's pretty cool pretty dope um and yeah i definitely want to get these in a display case eventually at some point um but pretty much we're gonna get into spoilers right now we have a lot to talk about um this movie is two hours and 49 minutes apparently originally there was a three hour cut but they brought it down to Two, uh, two hours and 49 minutes um right off the bat this movie definitely is non-stop action like i feel like you will just be so like i would say you wouldn't be bored in this movie it just has non-stop action i wasn't bored in this movie it was non-stop action it definitely i feel like will make a lot of people happy because it really a lot of people go to john wick for the action i feel like not a lot of people probably go for the plot line i definitely want a plot line i don't want just a full-on action no plot line because i feel like at that point it's just like what are we doing here like you know what i mean it's like why do it at all if you're not going to put a good put a plot in here and just have a whole bunch of action um but honestly though this movie you know like i said you know what i mean for how much action there is in here there is not really a i would say a plot in here it doesn't feel like there is a plot in here even though there you, you could see that they're kind of is a plot if that makes any sense i didn't feel like there was a plot even though we had sequences where it felt like okay like this is initially where i feel like you know john was trying what john was trying to do i felt like this movie didn't execute it in a, a very good way um for a movie that is about him wanting to take down you know the the high table and pretty much get his freedom it doesn't feel like he really took down the high table in this movie and you know he got a different version of freedom in this movie which i'll talk about in, in a little bit but this movie like i said definitely is some of the best action I've, I've seen in a very very long time like i would say that they did make it where it's like this is what people said that this is non-stop action but like i said i just could not feel the the plot of this movie and i would say that's a really big bummer to me that i could not feel the plot in this movie it just felt like action and not just like there was a lot of cool action sequences where whether it involves swords guns cars whatever like car chase sequences whatever but i just felt like there was no plot that would make me feel like okay that this was a great movie i had a fun time with this movie but i wouldn't say it was a great movie um definitely the, and also this movie is so focused on action it kind of you know we don't get a lot of time to really like spend time with the new characters that we get introduced in this movie and that was also a big bummer to me because you know donnie yen was in this movie and i thought that he was a kick-ass character in this movie 
but you know because he plays Kane but I felt like we didn't really get to know much about Kane which really bummed me out also you know we had uh uh, uh I think it's a uh, Hirosu- Hir- Hiroyuki Sonata we had Hiroyuki Sonata in here and I really love his work but I feel like for like he doesn't really get to like be in a lot of movies which really bums me out because you know he's really kick-ass when it comes to action sequences but I feel like you know when it, the movies that he is in he's very he's in you know, he's in movies very little and he was only in this movie for a very little bit of time before he ends up getting killed in this movie, which I was like, okay, like, shit, like, what the hell? Like, I was really excited to see him in this movie and Donnie Yen in this movie because them together, you know, you're just going to see some of the best, like, martial arts sequences probably of, of all time. And I thought, you know, this movie's going to be crazy because they're both in it and he was only in it for, like, a little bit of the movie and then he gets killed off. Um... Which, like I said, really bummed me out. Also, you know, as of course, as we all know, Lance Reddick, you know, pa- suddenly passed away this year. Um, and I was really excited to see, you know, you know, this last project that he did. I was really excited to see what he would do in this movie. And also that bummed me out because he ends up dying in the beginning of this movie. That was a shocker to me. I was like, oh, oh shit. Like, what the hell? Like, damn, like he's dead in the movie i was like we i I was like that sucks i really wanted to see what what more he was like what he was what what his character was going to do in this movie movie because i thought he was like the one of the best parts towards the end of john wick 3 because john wick 3 is my favorite film and i love when he helps when john helps kind of you know you know uh take you know i guess take all the people like I guess trying to, like, help save the New York Continental in the third film, like, he's trying to help, like, get everybody out of there, I liked that, and I really liked how, like, Lance Reddick's character was helping John take everybody out and trying to, like, protect the Continental, so it really bummed me out that, like, he died in the beginning of this movie, kind of as as an example to, uh, you know, Winston's character about, you know, about kind of, like, not dealing with John Wick, so that was the example of him losing the Continental, but also him losing kind of like his, uh, I, I forget the who really what what is like, what is like I guess I wouldn't say like bellhop, but you know kind of like you know him losing like his welcoming you know doorman to the Continental, uh, which was you know Lance Reddick's character. So it was kind of a, as an example of him like you know uh, Bill Skarsgård's character, you know the Marquis, you had to kill him to make an example to Winston. So I was like, okay, I guess, but like, I was really pissed. I was like, damn, like, I like, I can't believe this was Lance Reddick's last film, and he ends up dying in the beginning of this movie. It's just really upsetting. I, I'm glad that they're kind of, you know, you know, they're kind of, you know, making this movie out to him, like the entire cast and everybody saying that this movie's for him and stuff like that, and and kind of been like, you know, just doing that and making it out to him. But I was just like, damn, this really sucks that he was only in the beginning, like the only in the beginning for a minute, and ends up being killed off. That really sucked. Um. But also, yeah, the other character that I really did enjoy, and she actually, it, like, plays uh, Hiroyuki Sonata's, you know, daughter in the movie. Um, her name is, I'm trying to find her name, uh, Rina Sawayama, or yeah, Suwayama, uh, so, yeah, I think it's Say, Say, I think it's, yeah, Sawayama, I think it, yeah, it's Rina Sawayama. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but I thought she was really badass in this movie for the little bit we saw her in the beginning of this movie when kind of like the Japan uh, Continental is kind of, you know, being like under attack because they think that they're harboring John Wick. So that whole sequence where like she, you know, you know, takes off her overgarment and she kind of has this cool like outfit on underneath and she gets her bow and arrow and starts pretty much taking everybody out with John to go save, you know, uh, Hiroyuki Sonata's, you know, character, I thought that was really cool, that sequence was really cool, like I said, a lot of the action sequences I thought were really badass, but it just really bums me out, because I could not feel, feel the plot in this movie, I was like, okay, like, really, what are we doing in this movie, it just feels like just non-stop action, and we really don't get to spend time with these new characters that we're getting introduced to, and it kind of feels like, okay, like, like, and it just, it just, it was just non-stop kept going, I feel like there was just really no plot, it just kept going from action to action to action, and then, like, I feel like also, like, Keanu Reeves really didn't have much to say in this movie, it was more like, it was more of Bill Skarsgård that had all the lines, it was, like, I feel like Keanu Reeves didn't have very many lines, I felt like Lawrence Fishburne didn't really have many lines, I felt like also the dude that plays, uh, you know, uh, Winston, I feel like didn't have many lines, I feel like not many people had many lines except you know, uh, Bill Skarsgård, which again, I thought, you know, him as a villain, as the Marquis, Bill Skarsgård, I felt like was a a terrible villain, I thought he really just wasn't a good villain, I felt like, 
almost like he might be the worst villain of that we've ever had maybe in john wick i just felt i didn't find him very menacing and i just was like bummed out i was like damn i really kind of wish that winston was the villain of this movie because i felt like that's what that's the vibes i got on him wanting to get revenge on the high table and winston on the end of john of john wick 3 so i was just bummed out that that's didn't really what we go, didn't isn't really what we got in this movie Again, I really enjoyed the action. The action kept me invested and kept me like, okay, like this is really fun. But I got to the point where like when a action sequences would go on for so long, I was like, okay, like can we get to actually to the plot now? I feel like the action sequences just went on. A lot of the sequences went on for too long, especially the sequence I said I, I like it, it liked because I got to see, um, you know, the, the, the one uh, girl that I just said I liked. I got to see her, you know, b you know use the bow and arrow and do stuff like the one character I said I liked. But I was pissed because I was like, this thing is going on for so long. Like, like, can we get to like some plot, you know, some plot building and get some character development and see what's going on? I just felt like it just lacked plot and character development, this movie. But if you're going into this movie just wanting a lot of action, this movie is definitely, I would say, for you. But I do think the action sacrifices the plot of this movie. And I feel like that's definitely the downside of this movie. And like I said, Donnie Yen, like I said, I, I, I would say he and Keanu Reeves... And also, uh, uh, Hiroyuki Sonata for the little bit that you know, he was in there, I feel like all three of them are definitely the best parts of the movie and definitely steal the show. Um, but other than that, other than that, like I said, Bill Skarsgård, I wouldn't say he was a very good villain as the Marquis. And also, John wanting to get freedom and like him challenging, you know, uh, the Marquis to a duel for his freedom. While also the Marquis wants to make John Wick, like kill John Wick as an example to everybody to not to betray the high table. And John pretty much, you know, like he has to like, like kill somebody to get the you know, welcomed back home from that, like uh, uh, from, I forget like the one girl's name, but he needs to, you know, have her welcome him back home. So that way he could challenge the marquee to a duel for his freedom, which him taking out this one, dude, this one big dude that honestly reminded me of like the, uh, he reminded me of the penguin, but also he had the strength of Kingpin. Which that sequence is, which was ridiculous. Like seeing that dude, bro, bro was spry. Like he was able, I was not expecting bro would be able to kick that high or fight that good. Um, but he was spry and kicked the shit out of John and kicked bro over the ledge. And like I said, it, it kicked him over the ledge to the point where like it was a pretty high drop and John should have died. There was just some, a lot of unrealistic sequences here where I was like, okay, like he should be dead. The sequences you can see right here in this big car chase sequence with the dog and stuff like that. The dog, one, the dog got like thrown in to one of the cars on oncoming traffic, and the dog survived. It gets, it's this movie definitely got to the point where like I understand they wanted to go bigger and better, but it got to the point where I was like, okay, this is just so unrealistic, and it kind of pulls you out. And I know like you could say that the, the John Wick movies are already crazy enough, but when you get when it got to this point where like the dog was getting thrown into the car, John was kept, f fell off two high story buildings, and like you know landed on things and you think like he would have major injuries and just gets up fine on top of the one sequence where he gets kicked down a flight of steps and keeps going and i thought that was very over dramatic when like i was like you could just stopped after that one flight of steps but it's so over dramatic that you have to go down this whole big ass flight of steps before you get to the church before sunrise to kill like i guess to get your freedom and take out the marquee which the marquee like i said bill skarsgård's character the marquee was a bitch bro like he what like he and, and how doles usually work is that he was supposed to like oh like oh, if he gets up there before sunrise and that's when the duel goes down and you know what i mean and you and and it's like they, they it was a, a duel kind of like a pistol duel where it's like it's like you know you know cowboy kind of like standoff situation I, originally it was supposed to be the marquee going up against him but he put in um kane which was john wick's old friend that, you know, that, uh, again, the Marquis hires to, to take out John Wick, he makes him go in instead to have John face him instead of having John face the Marquis. So he was just already a bitch, not wanting, knowing that, oh, if John does get to this point, I don't want to be the one that gets shot by him. I'm going to have you duel him instead. But the moment where, like, you know, you get, they get three shots, and, they, in the like, I guess, the, 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 they get three shots, I guess, or they shoot each other until they, like, someone kills somebody. It got to the point where, like, John did end up getting shot, but he saved his bullet to the point where, like, he wanted to take over then, the Marquis, to take out John while John was already already down on the ground. And I'm glad that, you know, uh, 
was Winston said, you, you're a fool. Like you're, you're a fool. Like you, he didn't shoot yet. And then he, but he kind he put himself in to take over for Kane. And then that made it okay where John could actually like kill him, you know, without breaking any of the rules because he tapped himself in to take out John while John was already out on the ground because he knew he couldn't take John while John was in full like condition. So I was like, okay, I'm glad that you killed him. But I was like, damn, like he was a weak villain. I feel like, you know, he just was a snake the entire time in the movie I feel like that just really wasn't a good villain to me that he just didn't really, like, do anything. And I mean, and I just, I don't know. I just, it was lacking on plot. It was lacking on villain-wise. But I just felt like it was just too, like, too crazy. But like I said, the action was fun when, like, when, th- like, I would say it was a fun time still. And I would still buy the movie. But I would say, like, they kind of, like, out of all the action, they kind of said, fuck it with the plot. And they said, okay, we're just going to do nonstop action regardless of, of consequences on, on how people on, on what the plot is or are people feeling the plot or seeing the plot it's like we're gonna put action over a plot and that's I feel like that's what really what this movie was and I feel like like I said he didn't take down the table he killed the marquee but the table is still intact so I feel like that's that's the description of the movie is him wanting to take down the high table and get his freedom he didn't take down the high table and he got his freedom by dying which I was pissed that he died in this movie too I mean, I do think that th- there shouldn't be a John Wick 5, even if, if, even if he was still alive and went off into the sunset and you got his freedom and didn't have to deal with a high table anymore. But, you know, he ends up dying and, you know, pretty much a part of the, the, the duel was too and the deal was like, John will fight you, but I get to have the New York Continental back. I, I get to be the, the manager again. I get to run it again. And also I get to... Um, and it... And pretty much, you know, yeah, I just, yeah, I get to have the New York Continental back again because, like I said, it gets destroyed. And I get to have my, my, my status back if, if, if he wins while he gets his freedom. So he got the New York Continental back, Winston, and got to be the, the manager again. But, like, John ends up dying, and it's like the whole movie was about him fighting for his freedom. And I guess you could say, in a way, he kind of did fight for his freedom. His freedom and where he wanted to be was with his wife. But I don't know. I feel like in a way, I feel like they didn't really have to kill him. I feel like the only reason why they killed him is because of the spinoffs and and they want to kind of have a new person to take over the John Wick franchise, whether that be Anna de Armas. When I heard that she's going to be in that, um, you know, like I said, that, that that series about like kind of like the Russian ballerina assassins. I feel like she, that's what they're trying to do is they, they probably want her to take over as kind of like the new John Wick, I would assume. And then there's a Continental series going on. I understand they wanted to kill him off so they could start a new chapter, but I feel like this movie went so crazy. What else can they show us? That's also something when you go, that's always something that's a, that you, that's consequences. When you go to a crazy, when you try to, to, to outdo what you did in the last movie, there's a chance on like, you really can't, the audience would feel like, what else can you show us? You already went to this crazy point where like, you're almost feeling like, where you're almost, where, where it almost feels like we're watching Fast and the Furious. And we all know like how Fast and the Furious turns, how Fast and the Furious is now. They put action over plot and action to the point that it's just so like, so bullshit. It's like, what are we doing here? So honestly, the best thing I could say is that I really enjoyed the action, like I said, but it just, I, I felt it, it didn't feel like I felt the plot and I felt like the, some of the some of the things didn't feel realistic and just felt like what the fuck um but I'm really curious to know like what did you guys think about this movie did you like this movie did you not like this movie um like I said I I, I think it was a fun time I just feel like it it definitely did not have a good plot great action bat n- no plot um and I'm really curious to know if you guys, how, what you guys think about it. Did you guys feel the plot? Do you guys kind of understand where I'm coming from? Um, did you guys like this movie? Did you guys not like it? Let me know your favorite action sequence. Like I said, mine was probably definitely like when he, when he has, you know, all, everybody kind of coming after him towards the end of the movie and he's trying to get to the church before sunrise. I really enjoyed all those fight sequences, even though, like I said, the one where like it's the traffic sequence and the dog is there and, and they're fighting in, in oncoming traffic that was, it got to the point where people were getting hit, but people were still getting back up. It just, it got, it got so unrealistic. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of glad and I'm kind of hoping that this is it. Um, I do think that I, and honestly, I, I, I don't really care much about the series that they are doing because I'm kind of like, I do think that this, it should be done because before we get into like, really get into like fast and the furious 
status. I feel like we're kind of already there, but I feel like we'll fully get there if they try to keep making things bigger and crazier. It's going to start feeling like Fast and the Furious. Um, I also want to know what you guys think about, you know, John Wick dying in this movie. And also, I'm really curious to know, do you guys actually think he's dead? I feel like he is dead, but my brother... You know, uh, my brother Michael thinks that, you know, they kind of left it open-ended where, like, he is, he might or might not be, he might be alive or he might be dead. I think he's dead. I'm really curious to know what you guys think. Um, but other than that, that was it, guys. Again, here, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, put on notifications, like this video. I'd love to have you guys here, part of the family, part of the channel. All well, about spreading love, positivity, and motivation. And yet again, guys, we're almost to 700 subscribers. That is the goal, to hit 700 subscribers. My initial goal at the end of this year is to hit, you know, 1,000 subscribers and get monetized. Um, and again, like, I want to know all your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you guys think about John Wick Chapter 4? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. But guys, that was the video. I hope everybody has a great day, a safe day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.